Welcome to today's lesson on organelles that capture and release energy. So we're going to talk about two different organelles, the chloroplast and the mitochondria. These two organelles are used in our energy processes within our cells. Now, the chloroplast is the solar panels of the cell. These are only in plant cells if we're talking about plant or animal cells. Okay? They are not located in animal cells at all. We cannot take the energy from the sun to create our food. We actually have to consume it. Okay? So these are the solar panels of the cell. They take, absorb that light energy that's coming in, okay? and when they absorb that light energy that's coming in, they are then able to take that light energy, store it in a glucose molecule that they make, and then those glucose molecules get stored in the plants. So that when animals that need the energy eat those plants or eat other things that have these glucose molecules stored in them, we can actually get the energy that we need. And that process is called photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is the taking of the light energy, taking that energy, storing it in the glucose molecules so then it can be used by other organisms. Now a chloroplast right here is what it's, oh, this is going to look like a chloroplast. Um, it's what a chloroplast looks like. Uh, you'll notice that it has two membranes around it, okay? So we have an outer membrane, we have an inner membrane, and then we have these little stacks inside here called thylakoids. This is a structure of a chloroplast, and what you're going to notice is that this is what it's going to look like when you look in a, um, at a plant cell, okay? If you look at a diagram of a plant cell, you will see, it will be labeled green because chloroplast is green, okay? It will be green, and a lot of times you will see these thylakoids stacks in there. So the chloroplast takes the energy from the sun, stores it in the glucose. It's the solar panels of, you know, of nature. Now, once that energy is stored in the glucose, every type of organism actually has to take that energy and release it from the glucose. So plants, animals, um, fungi, all of these organisms actually have to go through uh, cellular respiration. So every type of organism except prokaryotes, so all eukaryotes actually have a mitochondria. Okay, These are the power plants of the cell. They take that energy, whatever source that we have for that energy, which is our glucose molecules, and they break it apart into energy that we can actually use. Okay, So they're the power plants of the cell, and many times you guys have probably heard of this as the mighty mitochondria. Okay, Power plants of the cell. They take, they break down the glucose through the process called cellular respiration, and they use that glucose to release the energy so that we can use it in our bodies. Again, both plant and animal cells have mitochondria. A lot of people think that only animal cells have mitochondria because the plant cells have the chloroplast. But even though in the, uh, in the chloroplast they're storing the energy in the glucose, they still have to take that energy out of the glucose to be able to use it. So that happens in the mitochondria. So plant and animal cells have mitochondria. But prokaryotic cells do not have mitochondria. Okay? They have another process that they go through that releases um, energy from their food molecules. Okay? So they do not have mitochondria. Now, a mitochondria is also a double-membraned double organelle. You'll see here we have an outer membrane and then the inner membrane has lots of folds to it. And all those folds that we have are going to help increase the surface area to help us go through the process of cellular respiration even faster. So our two power houses of our cell, the two things that give us energy within the cells are the chloroplast, which are pretty much only in plant cells, and then mitochondria, which are in plant and animal cells.